Alright, what is up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to AFK farm on multiple accounts in Anime Defenders. By the way, here's what that would look like. I know it can be pretty confusing, but I'll walk you through it. Let's get into it. So there are a few things you're going to need to get this set up. I'll have a link to all of them in the description. And the first I want to talk about, which I think is the most important, is going to be Roblox Account Manager. So Roblox Account Manager is going to look something like this, and you want to add all of the accounts you want to use. So I've got three alt accounts here that I want to add. And then the place ID is going to be found in the link to Anime Defenders. So if we go to the game itself, Anime Defenders, it is going to be this link number right here. So 170177, that number in between the link. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste that into the place ID section. As for the job ID, that is going to be the link to your private server. So we're going to go to configure here on my private server, copy this, paste it into Google, and then copy this after it's done joining. Boom. And with that, we are going to paste that into the job ID section, and that is pretty much set up to join our private server. The next thing you want is block strap, and if you open the menu, we have an option here which will actually let us open multiple Robloxes. It's important to actually run the accounts all at the same time, so make sure you go to the integrations, miscellaneous, scroll down a bit, and then there's the allow multi-instance launching. Make sure you turn that on, and then you're good to go. Finally, you'll of course need tiny task, and you want to go to your preferences and make sure that always on top is checked. The continuous playback is checked every time you start up the farm. Play speed is on 1x, and for your recording and playback hotkeys, they don't really matter, but mine are FH to start the recording, and Control shift alt b to start the playback. Follow those out of the way, let's get started. I just want to open all of your accounts using Account Manager, and you do this by clicking on the name and then clicking join. As long as you have the place ID and job ID in properly, it'll join your private server. So you should see that dot next to their names turn green, and then you're good to go. You can see I've already opened mine. And a few of you may be wondering how to evenly split them across the four different parts of your screen. So, we're going to drag our Roblox here to the very top, and we'll see this little thing pop up with different layouts for our tabs. This is just a Windows thing. We're going to move it to whatever corner we want in this four corners section. So I'm going to keep my main in the top left, and then the alts in the other three. The bottom left, bottom right, and top right. With all of the accounts opened, the only thing is to keep in mind are that your alts need to be friended with your main, so that when you click return to lobby, it actually goes back to your private server, you need to have all of your alts caught up in the story as far as you want to go, so I'm going to be doing a Windmill Infinite, so I had to do the first six acts of Windmill with these alts. Then you also want to make sure that they don't have voice chat, because if you have voice chat, there can be a beta button, which will move this TP button in the top left. So if any of them have voice chat, or sometimes even if they have voice chat, the beta button just isn't there, but if they have a beta button, you want to go into your settings and turn off voice chat, and then you're good to go. Anyways, this video is pretty long already, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to make a macro, but you're pretty much just going to click story on all of the different accounts and TP them to the story stage, have your main clear it, and then have them all click return to lobby, and then loop that. So I do have a more in-depth video on how to make macros for this game, it might help you. You may have already seen it if you're familiar with my channel, but I'd recommend checking that out if you need help with making macros. As always, my macro for this will be in my Discord server, link in the description, for a 1920x1080 monitor, with other info in the Discord as well, so, yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, future me here, for anybody wondering, this farm can get around 90,000 gems and 350 rerolls per day, every 24 hours I did the math, which is very good. But yeah, here's me making a macro, and see ya.